Bruce Durham is the president, CEO, and a director of Nevada Zinc Corp. Bruce, welcome to the Investor Intel Studio. Good afternoon, Fred. Thanks for having me on. You're a professional geologist, and in, in street parlance, they're really in my business lifetime, there hasn't been all that much found, really. There have been very few finds, and your name is associated with quite a number of spectacular finds. Two of the three mines in the Hemlo camp, for example. Um, it, it can't be just luck. What's your methodology? Well, I, I think, Fred, some days I'd rather be lucky than smart. And I don't think it's that we're particularly smart. I just think um, you, know, you, have, you have to go out and really identify a series of characteristics that you're going to look for and then try to be very diligent about knowing when to stop looking in one area and go to another area. So uh, we go through a whole process of, of identifying projects, uh, tearing them apart, seeing whether we think they've really got the potential or not, and then moving on to the next one or, or really sticking with the good ones. What are some of the other names that, that you've been involved with? Uh, I was involved in the early days in Timmins, that's where I'm from, Timmins, Ontario, and uh, we did the early work on a, on a project called the Timmins Nickel Project where we found a, a nickel deposit. Uh, Bob Middleton and myself found the uh, Bell Creek Mine in Timmins, which is now part of Tahoe Resources. We put all of the land together in the west end of Timmins when no one thought there was any gold out at the west end of the Timmins Belt under a company called Bandor Resources, which is now part of Tahoe Resources as well. And then we did a big project up in the northern tip of Quebec uh, called Canadian Royalties, where we went up and we actually found about eight nickel deposits up there in a series of about five years and eventually sold that project to the Chinese. So lots of different metals, lots of different areas. Uh, I've worked across Canada and through the U.S. and in South America and across Africa as well. So lots of, uh, lots of time spent in the field. Your, your stock's up 115 plus percent this year to date. Your investors must be very happy. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Nevada and what you were looking for initially when you went to Nevada. We were looking for a, for a project for, uh, the company was called uh, Gold Spike Exploration at the time, and we were looking for a keynote project that we could work on uh, year-round or in the off-season to the Yukon, where our key projects were at the time. And I was always looking for something that had those special characteristics that we could go down and actually start on something you know, that was located in a good jurisdiction, that had good infrastructure, and where someone had actually done a fair bit of the initial groundwork for us, and where we could uh, you know, work on a project that didn't cost a fortune to get into. So this project came across my desk. It was uh, a project where some guys had gone down there looking for zinc, or sorry, looking for gold, and it actually found zinc. And then through the crash in 2007 and eight, lost title to the property, and it was sitting there available when we showed up at the door. I think a number of companies that, that I've talked to over the years look at a handful of projects. Was that your modus in Nevada? No, I probably looked at 200 projects, you know, in addition to everything that I know about the belts that we've worked in over the years. And I've been at this for 40 years now, and primarily with junior companies. Um, you know, seeing share prices go from 10 cents to $100 kind of gets your attention, and that's really what's driven me to, to stay active in the industry, is I really like the discovery portion of, uh, phase of these exploration projects. Lone Mountain uh, looks to be exciting because of the drill results you've posted in the last couple of months. Uh, you've also had some leaching news, I believe. When we take on a project, uh, we know that there are going to be a series of stages where we're going to have to get ahead of the curve. I think that's one of the ways that you, you um, avoid falling into some of the pitfalls that a lot of junior companies fall into. So what we did initially is we did some drill testing. Uh, we've already started on some metallurgy. We've worked on the specific gravity. We've done some geophysics. We're doing all kinds of uh, projects at the same time that we're doing the drilling, part of which is going to really help us when we go to do a resource estimate. So uh, to that line of thinking, we've already started on some uh, metallurgy, some initial test work to show that we can concentrate the mineralization. It's a little bit different. It's zinc oxide as opposed to zinc sulfide, some of which can be a problem and some of which are a very good benefit. I mean, this material uh, dissolves very easily. We've done some extraction tests on that. And so we think we're really pushing the envelope on this so that when we um, continue to come out with good results and get a resource estimate, we'll have a lot of other things already started. So it's very leachable material. Very leachable. Uh, we don't see that as being a problem. What, what you need to do when you've got uh, zinc oxide mineralization and it's sitting in carbonate-rich rocks, you need to get the carbonate content down because that absorbs your acid. And so we've done, done some dense media testing on that to show that that's very viable as well. 
Bruce, um, Nevada is exciting, but so is your Yukon property. You, you've got uh, a portfolio of properties. They're in good company. Kamenek has a, a, a big property, which was, of course, just acquired by Gold Corp. Uh, this is a placer area that you're on, I believe. Well, there are placer districts in the Yukon, and so in a, back in around 2010, we started putting together land packages before Kamenak had drilled its first drill hole. And in fact, some of the, the people in our group who uh, identified the various projects that we acquired, and we acquired 44 different properties in the Yukon. Uh, part of that team was um, a former resident geologist for the entire Yukon by the name of Trevor Bremner, uh, myself, some guys who had actually had the coffee project which Kamenak uh, was founded on. Uh, they had actually had that ground previously. So these were very experienced Yukoners and people who knew how to go about uh, putting together projects. So we put together 44 projects. We've done a first pass on everything. We've actually identified, I would call it, uh, maybe five or six projects that we still very much like. And out of that, uh, three key projects, one of which is the large land position we have west of where Kamenak was, has been working. Uh, we acquired that ground before they drilled their first drill hole. So that ground has been there for a long time. We've got in excess of 800 claims. So it covers about 15, or six, 15 to 17 kilometers, depending on how you measure it. But completely unexplored. Uh, very, we've got some geochem targets that we've got to go and evaluate. So we're really excited about that one. Most investors are a little bit leery when they hear placer mining. It's great for small-scale miners uh, over, over the history. Um, certainly the gold rush was largely placer stuff, but uh, have, have you had any sense of where the source of the material is? Well, that was one of the things that we used to identify a number of these targets. If you go around to the various placer districts, if you want to call them that, in the Yukon, there are actually about 10 of them, uh, several of them are clustered together and, and almost without uh, exception, with the exception of one project that we have, they've found a bedrock source for where that gold was coming from. They may not, may not have found every source, but they've identified a source, most of them not very far away from the placer gravels. And so we use that as one of the criteria for acquiring some of our properties. And one that we're really excited about is called Livingston. Livingston, there was there's been placer operations there for almost a hundred years and uh, you know they've been finding nuggets there even up to this day some of the largest nuggets that have been found since the original gold rush the one placer miner found an eight ounce nugget and a 12 ounce nugget nugget in one day uh, a couple of years ago and so there's still very large nuggets coming off the side hill and we have all of the upstream portions of the bedrock actually as our property all of the significant ground upstream so we think we've actually now identified, gold, well we know we've identified golden bedrock and we think that this golden bedrock that we've identified, it actually has matching geochemistry to the gold in the nuggets. And so we think that we're starting to identify the source of where all this gold has been coming from. So again, a very exciting early stage project and we've got a very large land position. Bruce, what should we expect uh, in the next couple of months from Nevada Zinc? I think the, the next couple of months we've got uh, more work that we're doing in Nevada. That's really our focus project right now, but we're also working away in the Yukon. So we've got crews in Yukon. Uh, we'll be doing some work at our Goodman property, which uh, we haven't talked about, which is all of the ground to the, to the west along trend from Victoria Gold, who've uh, had a very nice run up in their share price as well. So they've, again, identified about 6 million ounces in overall resource. Uh, just up above a placer operation. So it's the same kind of methodology. And then we've got a bunch of placer operations on our ground adjacent to the west. So we know that we've got a bunch of targets to go and evaluate there. So we'll do some work at Goodman. We'll do some work at Livingston. We're doing a bit of work at VIP. And uh, we're also going back in to start drilling again in, in Nevada. So we're going to be really busy over the next little while. We'll look forward to an update in a couple of months. Okay, thanks very much, Fred. Thank you.